Uh, I'm Alon Barsam. Uh, I'm a director and partner at OCL Vision in London, and I specialize in refractive cataract surgery and corneal surgery. The Schwind ATOS is Schwind's femtosecond laser, which is used for LASIK and smart sight laser assisted lenticule extraction. One is that it's a very low energy system, uh, which allows for quicker visual recovery. For LASIK, you're guaranteed for the flap to correspond with where you're doing the eczema laser ablation, which means you don't, you don't have decentered flap, which reduces perioperative complications like bleeding around limbus vessels if you're decentered, and it reduces any problems with not being able to fit your treatment in on the bed underneath your flap, which is especially relevant in hyperopic treatments or treatments where you want to achieve a large optical zone. The cyclotorsional elements are relevant because of um, accuracy and precision of treating astigmatism. First of all, we'll washing my Bohmian secretions off the surface of the cornea. Then I dry the conjunctiva, including the fornices, which are the regions within the lids. And then I look at the head position and the nose position, and I'll tilt the head lift the chin, make sure they're in a comfortable position. I've already counseled the patient beforehand about the fixation light and what they will see and what they'll need to do. So they kind of already know about that. And as the laser starts to come into position, I warn them the green light's gonna move, don't follow it. And then if they're not in a perfect position and there's very easy alignment parameters that you see on the screen with the Atos, you can ask them to make small movements of their eyes. And, and I've had patients even where it's clear that they are moving their eyes underneath because they're nervous or whatever, and it doesn't lose suction necessarily. So now we've got to the point where we've refined our surgical techniques, energy parameters we're continuing to refine and improve, and we're seeing the, the vast majority of patients, binocularly, pretty much everyone is 6'6 six, six or better on the first day. So we can reassure them that on the first day they can resume their activities, and I tell them that it will still get sharper within that first week. But by the time they come back at week one, they're 6'5", six, 6'4", six, really identical visual outcome recoveries to what you'd expect with LASIK, maybe even a little bit better. Because I, I don't have patients complaining of night vision problems or quality of vision problems with smart sight at all, because the effective optical zone is so much bigger. You don't have to work within a flap. You can do a big optical zone and overcome all of that. It's really blown, it's been really blown us away. Now I've done more than 100 smart sight procedures and I'm doing maybe 15 each month, but I'm increasingly having patients come back saying, oh, you did smart sight on this patient and that's what I wanna have because they're happy with it. The dry eye recovery is so much quicker and better than it is with LASIK. And so six weeks time, not only do they see well, but they're not having to use drops very often. And then they tell their friends, go and get this done. But one of the big surprising positive changes with the Atos that we've noticed is the comfort of the procedure. So not that LASIK was ever painful, but with the other systems that tend to applinate the cornea and work at slightly higher pressure, although they don't really complain of pain, they can find that pressure element, even though it's only for 30, 40 seconds, they can find it uncomfortable. No patient with the Atos has complained of discomfort because it's occurring very gentle vacuum levels and very gentle pressure increase that they don't notice. So it's nice to do a procedure where they at the end say, I really didn't feel anything. It reduces the anxiety during the procedure and it improves their experience of the procedure that they remember even afterwards. I think I would start first of all with LASIK and be comfortable with docking with LASIK, maybe get at least 20 to 50 eyes of LASIK done, comfortably done, before you move to smart sight. Because with LASIK, if you don't center the eye perfectly, it doesn't matter as much. But with smart sight, that will translate into a change in their vision. So it's, in theory, less forgiving with smart sight than it is with LASIK. So you can reapply suction if you lose suction early in the laser pattern or the process. But if it's happened late in the process, then I normally will just convert to LASIK. So the way we market smart sight is we describe it as a keyhole laser vision correction or even keyhole LASIK technique which is minimally invasive and flapless. And we explain that actually, because of that, their dry eye recovery will be faster. Um, and if they do contact sports, for example, then they can return to doing those activities sooner than would be possible with LASIK. The predecessor, of which there have been many, many studies, which is SMILE, which is similar, has shown 
a lot of long-term safety. So we already have evidence that lenticule extraction works well. And there are subtle differences in the smart site platform with the Atos that should make all of that only better. Schwind are a fantastic company. Um, they are passionate about producing devices that are better than the competitors and most able to guarantee good outcomes for patients. And it's a continuous process. So the laser that you buy today will not be the laser you use in one or two years, but it's already so advanced compared to many of the competing products that the future is very exciting. And I think the sooner people get on board with it, the sooner the, their patients and them are able to benefit. But lenticule surgery is still a relatively young procedure. And there are things that on every platform we think this could be better and that could be better. I, and I have faith that Schwind will do all of that. So it, for me, it's not a question of if, it's just a question of when.